All right, guys, welcome back to the lineup. Uh, doing things a little bit differently. Uh, I'm out here in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Eric's still back, just, just grinding it out back in New York here. Um, Going to get some topics going here another day. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, so first topic, obviously, no gloves. Got to work on the tan while I'm out here. Um, but uh, Chipper Jones recently uh, was on MLB Network, uh, did a little demonstration off the tee, showing guys what he normally does. Um, and some, some of these online hitting gurus were <clears throat> not too pleased with what he, was, what he was saying, said that they didn't want, no one should listen to him. He's, he's all talent, doesn't know how to teach kids anything like that but what's your take on this eric i'll let you go off for this one you know as a hitting coach or something like that you know i've seen so many more people talk about how you got to drop and drive your mouth gonna get through it's ridiculous um chipper jones is one of the greatest of all time because he was successful what he did and his big thing was hit the back the ball hit the ball hard uh, to the back side. And I mean, that's ideally what you want to teach kids uh, stay inside the home driving. But I, I'm seeing these kids now, 12, 13, 14 years old, who can hit ammo, bombs, and front arms. You just throw anything over 80 miles an hour at the belt, you can't do the same thing. So, <clears throat> I mean, all the, uh, you're hitting gurus, which probably weren't good enough to keep it. I mean, obviously, I wasn't either. That's why I'm giving hit ones. But the thing is, it's you got to teach the kids the right thing. So they can be successful out of the team. Which so you're kind of talking to Chipper Jones, who is probably one of the best switch hitters of our of our life, of our generation. Um, he, he really he can't take shots at one of the kings. I mean, he might be a weirdo pro stuff he does. Like I think he single handedly like saving people on ATVs one time. Uh, he can make money for that. But telling him he doesn't know how to hit that's that's, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean. The thing that bothers me is, you know, everyone's different. Everyone has their own, you know, mental and physical cues, you know, when they're hitting, when they're hitting, and you know, and Chipper is demonstrating. Obviously, you know, works with what worked for him and what what he feels can work best for everybody. Um, you know, he was a guy that liked to drive the ball in the back of the cage uh, with some backspin. You know, everyone has this whole backspin, topspin, you know, stuff going back and forth. A lot of guys are trying to get those. Um, you know, launch angles, you know, Chipper doesn't give a crap about launch angles. He cares about hitting 300 and, you know, and winning baseball games. Um, you know, and I think that's what we just need to, you know, kind of get back to is, you know, we, you know, we're, you know, so consumed with these numbers, you know, these exit velos and, um, the launch angles, all this other stuff that we, we lose sense of, you know, it, you're playing to win, you know, you're playing to get that ring. I mean, the, the ring that the Cubs just got that, with the 108, you know, diamonds in it, I think it was, is, you know, you know what it's all about, getting the win, winning the World Series. Um, and I think that's pretty much what he was saying. And, you know, for these guys who are these, you know, online hitting gurus, and there's a lot of guys out there who are really good um, hitting gurus, but for these guys to call out, you know, a, you know, a first ballot Hall of Famer, um, you know, it's just ridiculous, yeah. you know. And, and everyone, everyone's, everyone's different, you know. So, I mean, you can teach one kid, to get underneath the ball and, and launch it, you know, at a 19 degree angle, what, whatever it is, um, you know, or you, there's other guys that you might have to tell them, hey, hit down on the ball because that's going to make them, you know, a better baseball player. And hitting down on the ball doesn't mean you're hitting ground balls either. You know, so that, that's also another, you know, thing that um, guys have to realize. Some guys hit down on the ball and can still hit it, you know, 500 feet. Um, some guys get underneath it, hit it 500 feet. You know, everyone's different. So, you know, and we have to keep treating it, every, treating it as that. Um, you know, so that's kind of my take on that. You know, and, you know, I mean, just lay off Chipper. You know, dude's it's dude's one of the greats. I don't get this either. Exit velos. I mean, if you hit the ball into the ground, that's when you hit it the hardest. So if you're getting an exit velo on a true hit line drive, it's not going to go as fast as you hit the ball dead in the ground. So what's the point? Like, I, I never really see velocity. I, I mean, like, oh, I'm going to test this ball into a net. It's, it's stupid. You should be able to get extra of legit line drops. Right. Well, that's a different Yeah, but we'll, let, let's move on because we could be on this topic all day. Um, we're going to talk about favorite bombs. And no, not the one we just dropped. 
overseas people talking about homers here. Um, so for you, Eric, what's, what's like your like most, you know, I guess memorable or kind of like your favorite home run kind of all time, you know, n you know, not just for yourself, but also just, you know, seeing it in first, first hand. I think my favorite um, bomb that I'm going to park that I, like, I saw, um, it was at Old Yankee Stadium, and I saw Mark McGuire hit it out, like, dead center field to the top of, like, the blacked out bleachers. Right. Um, That's a bomb. Like, eight or nine. My dad just hit him and told him, goes, you know, remember that. And I'm like, that thing left so fast. But for me, uh, personally, um, my first year playing, so I was a sophomore, um, and I was a walk-on. So my first start ever in the game, and first pitch, um, my first at bat at home, I had a home run on uh, my university, uh, and it was by the who done uh, his first pitch, and like the entire team went crazy. It was just kind of like my entrance to college baseball. So that's probably one of the most memorable ones for me. Uh, first pitch, first at bat at home here, right? Uh, I guess big league wise, um, it was Barry Bonds. Um, he hit one off of Ted Lilly that almost went out of the stadium at the old Yankee Stadium. Um, that was ri that was ridiculous. I mean, that that was like he hit it like I think there's only like two more rows left in the upper deck, and you know. It, People were like had to run upstairs to go get the ball, not down. Um, so that was probably the most. I mean, you know, especially like lefty on lefty, he was hitting. I was pretty sure it was Ted Lilly was pitching for him uh, for the Yankees then, and you know, I mean, Ted, I think Lilly just kind of laughed about it because I mean that thing was just so crushed that you know, literally almost went out of stadium. Um, that's something I'll never forget. But um, I guess uh, for me, me personally, um, man. Let me see. I mean, obviously, like my, you know, your your first, you know, home run. So, like for me, like my first, my first college home run um, was down at uh, Lynn University in Florida. Um, hit one uh, down there. You know, come around the bases, and you know, all the upperclassmen, you know, think it's cool not, you know, for everyone not to shake your hand, and uh, you know, pull one of those moves on me. But I think that was probably the most memorable one. Just it was my first college, uh, college one. Um, you know, but I mean. You and I have hit so many, it's, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard to go through all of them in your head. But um, so many. But uh, yeah. So anyway, moving on to, to the next topic here. Favorite bus games, or you know, um, everyone's playing them. You know, you got a long bus trip to wherever, whether it's summer ball or uh, just you know regular college ball. Um, for me personally, you know, I was always a big fan of the mafia game. That was always a good one. Um, there's another one called called Make a Line, which uh, no one ever got, which was which was fun. Um, you had to tell someone to, you know, you say, "Hey, got you know, make a line," and they just say, "All right," and uh, you know, say, "Me to you, to that tree, back to me is a line." And there's just a simple little thing to the game that no one that frustrates people because they could they could pretty much say the same exact thing you said and it's not a line um so it's just fun to watch people who don't understand it um yeah. just struggle with with trying to figure out uh how to make a line so that was always fun um but how about how about for you um there's a combination one game um if you're on a big bus it's cavalry um it's a huge fan of that where at any point uh, on a bus trip, you got to fill up in front of the bus. And you yelled Cavalieri. Uh, it was a dead sprint to the back. You had to touch the back wall. Um, it was a free form, so anybody can do whatever they wanted to. So, uh, I think the only rule is no punching of the hair, touching of the hair. Pins. Okay. Uh, tackle, you can kick, you can scratch. Uh, so, uh, a big bus is, you know, I was a big summer ball. Uh, we were trying to do dead sprint back. Tackle into a window, and someone can chuck a you know, sack of baseballs at you, and it's fair game. Uh, but we were big uh, band wars. Right. So we took small bands at any point uh, at the red light. It was a band. It was just like front versus back, and you're trying to take over an area. Uh, 
pretty physical. Uh, got a little bloody. Yeah. Those are part of my favorite games, but uh, it's kind of a big one to get to college. It wasn't really a game, it was more about uh, knowing people. Uh, there's eyes up front, so you're just crossing the lane. Uh, if you were in the back of the bus, and they turn around, and then they turn around, you scream, eyes up front, there's the most demoralizing thing in the world. <laughs> so if you were an underclass and you heard your name, you saw someone want to talk to you, you're like, yo, we you turn around, and like, eyes up front, you just walk. Yeah. Never yeah, I mean, it's, you know, especially, you know, those long bus trips, and, like, we were, the, you know, my college was the same, where we had the, the smaller van, too. Um, but, you know, anytime we had the longer trips and had the actual coach buses or, you know, I guess definitely the, you know, in, in uh, summer ball, you know, when you have, you know, five, six, seven-hour bus trips sometimes, depending on which summer league you're playing, and um, those games come in handy. Um, and on the way back, I know um, – especially after a long trip you, you know a lot of guys are just pretty much sleeping so it's pretty much on the way there um where you're playing these games but you know it's that's all part of you know college baseball and i know it still happens that you know pro you know pro wise too some of those guys have like 12 13 hour bus trips so i know they're playing some games probably on the way home probably throwing a couple back um so yeah i mean that's pretty much all the topics that we have today we want to keep it short and sweet for you guys um you know, so one thing we're trying to do it one little bit of a contest here. Send us your best swing, one swing only. Uh, tag us and hashtag Saturdays are for the bats. That way we can find you. We'll, we'll you know look up that hashtag um, and we'll uh, repost and send out all your videos um, and pretty much the best one that we like. We need to get at least ten of these. Uh, we're gonna send you a free T-shirt uh, for getting the video. Um, so. We're, like I said, send us your best swing, one swing only. Uh, tag us and also hashtag Saturdays are for the bats for your chance to win a free t-shirt. Make sure you buy the shirts. Um, they're really, real stylish, you know, good for any season. Um, and uh, like I said, make sure um, you guys are subscribing. We'll, we'll send some links out here for you. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Um, and yeah, I mean, any uh, any closing comments here, E man? All right, you heard it here first. Stay weird. We'll talk to you guys later. Um, enjoy your Sunday, and we'll see you on Saturday with some bats.